Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to talk you through evening wear and our approach at P. Johnson towards evening wear. I love getting dressed up in evening wear, especially if I get invited to an event that warrants evening wear. It's a really good opportunity to use a number of different accessories you don't otherwise get the chance to use and also a good opportunity to sort of push the boat out a little bit and have a bit of fun experimenting. Who doesn't love getting dressed up? Anyway guys, I'm actually going to get dressed up in a few different outfits. I'm going to talk you through them, so bear with me. I'll be back in a sec. Hey presto, so this is a fa fairly classic approach to evening wear, one button, peak lapel, ours a little wide, there's a really nice soft fabric, woven for us by Laura Piana, they call it black black, sucks up the light really well, if the name tells you what it is, it's really really black. I wear a waistcoat on underneath this, which I only really ever wear waistcoats for evening wear, and this is a lower horseshoe style waistcoat, silk shirt in a cream silk on here with gold dress studs. The bow tie is made by my friend Nick from Le Nou Papillon. Now Nick is the world authority pretty much on bow ties. I'm serious, he's based in Sydney. He makes incredible bow ties. He did this one as a slightly larger bow tie for us, a bit more of a 70s vibe. He does other ones as well. You can buy some at P. Johnson or you go directly to Nick. Nick's an amazing guy um, and he's really into his bow ties. Also my dress watch I wear is a mid 30s uh, watch from uh, Jaeger LeCoult, a reverso. You got the gold on the side. My father-in-law calls it a furniture removalist watch. I think it was originally for polo. Um, I love wearing eyewear here, black eyewear. Nice for evening wear. I've also got some gold that I wear occasionally. Footwear for evening wear. We get asked about this often. I mean, I just love Belgian shoes. Um, and there's only one Belgian shoes and they're from New York. Uh, in Midtown, they've got an amazing store there. Go check it out if you're there. You can also buy them from Nikki Haslam in London, I think still. I'm not sure if Nikki still stocks them, but that's pretty much it. And they're the best evening wear shoes. They're also amazing for the daytime. So I am gonna jump in another outfit right now. I'll be back in one sec. So here we are, white dinner jackets. So I love wearing white dinner jackets, especially in Australia, because it's pretty warm the whole time. And if you're going to like an open air sort of summer event, it, they're really, really beautiful. Um, generally, you, they're more a summer thing than a winter thing. And also, for instance, if I'm going to an event, I'm wearing a white dinner jacket, I'll kind of speak to the host first and say, hey, I'm gonna wear a white dinner jacket. I hope you don't mind. They're quite a special thing. It's always good to check in with them that you're not gonna kind of steal their thunder if they also wanna wear a white dinner jacket. So this is a shawl lapel, really, really basic white dinner jacket. Having a white dinner jacket is probably enough. I love wearing them with, I always wear a white pochette, Irish linen, which he made for us in Ireland with a hand rolled edge. I love the contrast of white on white on this one. And I've got this again with the cream silk shirt. So you've got different contrast of white. It always looks good with a little bit of gold as well and with the black frames. I wear these with black trousers generally um, or a midnight blue trouser if you're keeping it quite classic. And I really actually enjoy wearing a cummerbund as well. It ra raise the rise of your trousers a little bit and another little feature. Some people aren't fans of them. I do quite like them. So I'm gonna try another outfit. Bear with me. So here's a slightly different take on summer evening wear. This is a heavyweight Irish linen made as a single breasted notch lapel, which isn't the standard evening wear lapel. I've done it with a what's called a grow grain lapel, a very heavy grow grain one, which I've matched with, a tie, with, with my bow tie again from my friend Nick. So you've got that matching there. And the shirt is a different shirt. I've changed it out to a very a white sort of micro pleat on the front. So very fresh, very clean. On the trousers, again, I wear my trousers a little longer than most. I like a very solid break on my trouser. And we've got the dinner stripe down the side. And again, looks great with the Belgian. So I love wearing this fabric for evening wear. It's quite a different one, linen, but don't be intimidated by you know the creasing of linen. You can really do amazing things with this. Let's try something else. So here's another one of our summer classics. This is a seersucker. Seersucker breathes really well. It's originally developed in the, all the British colonies used it, the warmer, the warmer weather colonies, and then made popular in the southern parts of North, North America. This is a midnight blue with a grow grain lapel. I like wearing a little sweater over my shoulders. Grow grain lapel here, which is matched to the grow grain stripe on the side of my trouser, the military stripe there. So a really good option if you're a bit scared of how much linen might crease, but you want something that's going to breathe, seersucker is your go-to. Let's try another one. So this one definitely isn't for everybody. I get it. It's a pretty powerful look. It's pretty full on. Um, but I absolutely love these. These are sort of what we call our curtas, which is an amalgamation of a few different styles. And I've made this one in a full Marcello fabric, which is the classic bib fabric used on evening wear. And I love wearing this for evening wear. It's really comfortable, really free. It's quite a statement, as I said. But, you know, we've got the side entry pocket here. 
I've made this one with a band collar and I've just done a matching Martella bow tie over the top of it. So it's quite minimal here. Definitely a powerful look. I get it for sure, but it's a really, really nice option for evening wear. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in and having a look at our approach to evening wear. I hope you found it informative or at the least entertaining. And if you have any questions, as always, just send us a message and be happy to answer them. Stay safe, guys. Thanks a lot.